Hello everyone, I uh, hope you guys are doing great. Uh, so this uh, session is about uh, getting started with TensorFlow. It's the most important uh, session in this lecture series. It gets you uh, started with uh, TensorFlow, how TensorFlow works. So it's uh, really important. So after this lecture, I'm also going to discuss uh, some basic machine learning algorithms. So these things will uh, help you understand how TensorFlow works and uh, get into the group so you would be able to code on your own so let's get started okay what is a tensor from a computational point of view tensors are basically multi-dimensional arrays so uh, for example you have a matrix you have a vector you have a scalar so all these are basically tensors a matrix is a tensor of rank 2 a uh, vector uh, tensor of rank 1 and the scalar of rank 0. So rank 0 and this rank basically denotes the dimensionality of the tensor. So to define a matrix you need uh, two different indices, number rows and columns. So it has a rank 2. A vector is just a one either a column vector or a row vector. So you need a single index. So basically it's a tensor of rank 0 and scalar it's quite intuitive it's a tensor of rank zero so why this name tensorflow so in order to uh, find this origin of this name let's look into how tensorflow works okay i'm going to spend a few minutes on the origin of the name tensorflow it's good to know if you're using this package so basically in tensorflow every single computation is represented by a graph so and uh, you see these uh, are the operations so this is matrix multiplication addition I have taken this graph from the white paper tensorflow white paper so and uh, W is a tensor X is a tensor and B is a bias so all these are tensors and uh, they are added into the graph so, and each and every step you see uh, the data moves for flows from one step to the another in our case uh, the data is basically a tensor so as you might uh, guess it's quite intuitive that uh, your tensor is flowing through the graph and hence the name tensorflow let's see how to start a new tensorflow session there are three methods the first and the second method you would do when you're writing your, a standard code and the third method is when you are uh, in an interactive session like IPython so here TF stands for TensorFlow. The above line of code would be import TensorFlow as TF. I haven't written here, it's just for information. So the session function inside the TensorFlow package contains all the necessary functions to start a new session, close a new session, etc. Instead of uh, writing TF.session every time, I'm going to make it short by writing uh, assigning it to se double s so basically it stands for session you can assign it to whatever you wish so but uh, keep in mind you have to use the same uh, word uh, every time you want to use tf.session so here i have assigned it to se double s so in order to begin a new session just give a code uh, sys.run and uh, run has a lot of other functions also we i would be discussing it in later lectures so after you're done with your code uh, and your session you need to close the session so you do it so by giving a uh, says start close okay so the second method is a kind of a shorter one of these so you have three lines of code condense into a single line of code over here with tf.session this is the function and uh, with I am assigning it to scws similar to the one over here so and all the code you want it within a single session so you will be writing it below here so a three line uh, code is condensed to a single line code so both uh, methods work fine whichever you, uh, you're comfortable you can use the method is uh, especially useful when you are in an interactive session like ipython so similar to method one 
you start the session and uh, towards the end you just close it okay. next comes the variable in machine learning algorithms uh, weights and bias are the general variables they keep changing after every iteration in tensorflow there's a function called variable so you can use this to assign uh, to the weights and the bias so uh, you give it an initial value and uh, you specify the data type d text stands for data type the shape of the variable and uh, you can also give it a name note that here uh, once you have specified the shape you cannot change it later but there is a way and uh, using this validate shape is equal to false you can uh, change the shape of the variable later okay and inside this variable once you are there are three major things so the first one is to assign uh, a new va value to the variable so th you can uh, use uh, tf dot variable dot assign to assign a new value to that particular variable and uh, if you want to uh, get the value of that particular variable eval is the keyword so this returns the value of the variable in that particular session and uh, tf dot initialize all variables initializes all the variables at, uh, before the beginning of the session and this is very important and uh, this happens at the start of every session the next important function in tensorflow is the placeholder function whenever you are dealing with uh, input data you need to uh, use placeholder function for example x and y are two uh, variables uh, involved in my algorithm and uh, which are connected to the input data so you have to assign x and y as a placeholder and uh, in this example when i am running the session i would be directly feeding x with the value of x data and y with the value of y data so x data and y data are the datas and x and y i would be using in my algorithm and uh, this is the syntax you assign a data type uh, shape and uh, optionally you can give it a name moving on and uh, every single algorithm after executing you need to save and restore it for later use in tensorflow this package uh, inside train called saver uh, for shortcut you can save it as saver as tf.train.saver and uh, for saving you can uh, inside saver there is save and uh, this is the session title and uh, the path where you want to save your variables and uh, for restoring a uh, similar thing inside saver.restore the session title and the path and uh, tensorflow has a lot of built-in mathematical functions i have just listed a few but there are many and tf.add for addition multiplication matrix multiplication zeros are similar to a, the one in numpy arrays uh, np.0 np.1 similarly tensorflow has these functions too there are a lot more uh, mathematical functions available in tensorflow all the basic uh, arithmetic operations basic math uh, trigonometric functions you can find all these in the tensorflow website now that we have the basic knowledge of tensorflow let's uh, see how it works live in action this demo i'm going to use uh, ipython for demonstrating the basic usage of tensorflow so first things first, import your TensorFlow package and as discussed earlier, IPython is an interactive uh, terminal and uh, in this interactive session, uh, declare uh, the sys to be an interactive session and uh, this is the f relevant function and uh, in this example, I would like to discuss about placeholder and uh, the small uh, code snippet uh, 
I would like to uh, calculate the multiplication of a and b and uh, assign it to a third variable called c. So I would be feeding the value of a and b dynamically when I am running the session. So let's see how it goes. Run this particular session and uh, this is my session which I have created and I am running the session. This uh, would return c where c I have declared to be the multiplication of a and b and a I am dynamically feeding into the session running session a and b the value of a is 2 and uh, b is 3 2.0 and 3.0 to be precise because uh, I have given the data type to be float32 so this should return me a value of 6.0 so let's go ahead and run it yeah yeah so 6.0 is the result and which we are looking for so in the next uh, important function is the variable so here i am declaring w to a uh, variable function 5.0 remember in order to use w I need to initialize the variable first. So uh, the function for initializing all the variables is tf dot initialize all variables. So I can uh, when I run it. So I am basically initializing all the variables in this particular code snippet. Okay. Now if I want the value of uh, w the uh, function is eval it this returns me the value of this particular variable which is 5.0 here you go and uh, soon after you complete all your uh, functions and uh, your algorithms and uh, close the session says that close the keyword your session is closed I hope uh, you got some good information out of this lecture. Uh, in case you had any trouble uh, understanding a specific aspect about uh, TensorFlow, uh, please feel to comment in the section in the commenting session below. And uh, even if you had some difficulty, it's okay because uh, from uh, next lecture, I'm going to discuss some basic algorithms and implementing. So it's going to be really interesting. So I'm going to start off with one of the basic and fundamental machine learning algorithms, which is the linear regression, and uh, followed by polynomial regression and uh, basic classification. So it's going to be really interesting. So even uh, if you didn't uh, get much out of this lecture, uh, it's OK. It's just to give you a basic introduction of how TensorFlow works and what are the basic stuff. Once you uh, follow up with these two lectures, I think uh, you'll be good to go. So I'm looking forward to the next lecture and uh, see you guys soon. Have a nice day. Thank you.